variety of different nationalities competing in this race. Drivers from the UK, some from Australia, and some from the Netherlands as well. Starting on pole position, it is Darnie, Rob Darnie, um, in the uh, Lotus of Aura. Of course, they're all Lotus of Aura. Second place is uh, Sergio Ali. Third place is Matt Driver. In the fourth position on the grid, it's uh, James Jacobs in the white machine. In the fifth place is the uh, number 12, Greg Wright, of course. William Wynn Stanley hits place six. In seventh position on the grid, it is Al Joy. And on the eighth position, it is John Ralph. Steve Katz. Further down the order, Chris Strickland there as well, and number five, bit of a cheer from the crowd as well. Always good to see. Yama Van Orscott. Then comes, in 13th position, Charlie Hasdell. Amit Mandalia further down the order as well. There's two Amit Mandalias. That's a worry. Then in 15th position, Rounding out the grid, it is Mr. Kieron in the number nine machine, Mark Kieron, of course. So that is how the grid lines up for the second race of the day here. We wait for the lights to go green, three red lights on, and they're off, and we're underway. It's a good start from Dolly off the front row of the grid. Second place is Cesar Alley. Looks like he's got the way very, very well as they stream down towards the first corner. Who's he going to be leading the way? It is going to be Rob Darby, then leading the way from Cesar Alley. Third place is going to be Matt Driver. James Jenkins, the Australian, has got himself up to fourth. William Winstanley holding on to fifth place. Up the inside for Alley. In towards Drew, it's Hairpin. And looks like James Jacobs is going to try and bite a bit more off the that he can chew against Darby as well. James Jacobs up into second place, almost three wide. Down towards Graham Hill Bend. The Lotus of Aura has come absolutely incredible. Off ball with the leader. One of the cars going a bit wide out of that corner as well. And down in towards Surtees they go. What an absolutely electrifying start we've had here. Up the inside goes James Jacobs against Rob Darby. Through the right-hander in that Lotus of Aura, you can see it's just incredible racing going on, but out in front, it is Sedger Alley leading the way from that driver. Rob Darby has gone further down the order than he would have liked to, and a fastest lap mile time around from Sedger Alley as well. He's slotting in very, very nicely indeed. Matt Driver, meanwhile, up the inside. Or well, running around the outside, Rob Darby the inside of Matt Driver, I should say. Down in towards Drew's hairpin, Ben, there you go, Matt Driver up the inside, and it looks like Ralph is going to try as well. He is. What an incredible piece of overtaking there from John Ralph to really make the opportunity happen. He's up the inside, Rob Darby loses two places within the space of a corner. Just incredible, and further down the order, an absolute ding dong battle going on for about fifth position with five cars involved. But Matt Driver still holding on to second place at the moment. Three laps for this Brands Hatch Indies layout for these drivers. James Jacobs on the inside of Adnan Mir. So Jan Jacob, sorry, James Jacobs rather I should say into fourth place. Adnan Mir into uh, fifth place. Chris Strickland holding on there to sixth place as well as Mark Keaton. He's looking very menacing indeed. Someone else looking menacing. It is John Ralph who's on the inside of third place man driver down to Moses into the final podium position. What an incredible race this has been for Ralph. He's had such a good run so far. And over these last couple of laps, he's really had the bit between his team. James Jacobs, meanwhile, must have had an incident because he's gone down to 12th position and is currently battling, battling with Steve Katz at the moment. But it is Sedgerati then leading out in front from Ralph, from Driver. And it looks like he's going to stay that way as they come in towards Clearways for the final time. An impeccable race, it has been lots and lots of battles ongoing. Chris Strickland holding on to fifth place, he's got Mark Keaton just in front of him. But the victory is going to go to Cedric Alley, who takes the victory from Ralph. Absolutely incredible job.